look at these two characters. One of them is a Pixar character, and the other is a character generated with a character generator. Now be honest, which of these would you pay money to watch if these were two separate posters on a billboard? Yep, no matter what you do, character generators will always generate characters that just look dull, boring, and non-expressive. But what if I showed you how you can create beautiful characters like this just as fast? There's only three things that you need to change in order to make your characters more eye-catching and appealing. What are some of the obvious similarities that you see with most Pixar and 3D movie characters? Well, let's see if we can paint these characters in a silhouette. What do you notice? Each of these characters have unique proportions and are mostly based around simple shapes. Now, here are silhouettes of characters generated with character generators. Now what do you notice? They don't really look, well, unique. I mean, it's clear who are the men and who are the women, but is it really instantly recognizable who your lead character is? Generated characters all have similar looking proportions and they are physically correct, but it doesn't mean they are eye-catching. They just represent the real world better. They don't stand out since they all have similar proportions. Therein lies the first problem with character generators. Character generators often aim for hyper-realism. They are excellent in creating highly detailed and realistic human figures, but can sometimes lead to the uncanny valley, where any small imperfection looks, well, super creepy. Stylization of your characters helps to make your character's personality clear, makes them more engaging, and relatable to the audience. Realistic characters lack the emotional expressiveness you would find in stylized characters by a mile. We humans aren't capable of being really expressive like stylized characters. I made this mistake with my own films. I used a character generator throughout this entire short film and struggled to understand for a while why it was harder to animate convincingly compared to some of my previous films which had simpler stylized characters. So the first thing that you need to do to make your characters more eye-catching is to make them more stylized. I don't really even know why I killed myself trying to make my characters anatomically correct. Your proportions don't have to be anatomically correct, but people have to know in an instant who your character is. If your character is skinny, make him really skinny. If your character is strong, exaggerate and add a lot of muscle. When you see these characters, what do you feel? With Pixar characters for example, it's all about emotion. Their characters don't just exist, they feel, dream and inspire. But how does Pixar do it? They say the eyes are the window to the soul. Let's just zoom in now and look at these characters a bit more closely. Yep, their eyes are round circly shapes or almond shapes. They're also big really big. Eyes are the first thing we humans look at. It often reveals the innermost feelings and thoughts of a person without the person needing to say a single thing. Large expressive eyes can help tell a story and evoke emotion. But this doesn't look quite right for a generated character. There's all these anatomically correct details like the lacrimal caruncle. So the next thing you need to do is to make your eyes shape simpler and make the size of your eyes larger. That will instantly make your character even more eye-catching. <laughs> do, do you get it? I, yeah, okay. So we know we resonate better with characters that are stylized with exaggerated features and simple shapes and big round eyes. What else makes them more appealing to our eye compared to character generators? Let's blur the images now. See the difference? Pixar characters use colors that are bright and saturated. Character generators typically have clothing that's accurate to the real world, and we as artists don't typically think about color as much as Pixar artists do. Bright, saturated colors with contrast catches our attention more. Luckily, there is an easy fix for this. Just apply any clothing and modify the textures to change colors and make them more vibrant by saturating them. 
So those three things alone will go a long way to making your characters look more eye-catching and appealing. Just to let you know, it's not the fault of the character generator tools. Those tools were not built with emotion and exaggeration in mind. The main goal of these tools is to provide the ability to create diverse characters that cater to a wide range of users. They don't focus on characters with story and emotional depth behind. So how did I create this character fast? As ironic as it sounds, I made this character in only a few days using a character generator called Character Creator 4. Personally, I think it's more than just a character generator. But here is a breakdown of how I did it. I first started with a base mesh. I then did my best to remove all the realistic details. That is, I used a plain skin texture, exaggerated some features like making the legs really skinny so that they are not anatomically correct, I made the eyes larger, I went into Blender and also made some modifications that I couldn't do in Character Creator, I added hair and clothing from the library, changed up the colours and then I was done. I had a unique looking character that looked a lot more appealing and eye-catchy that didn't look like it was generated from a character generator. Although I did use a character generator to help speed up the process. I didn't need to worry about all the finicky stuff like UV unwrapping, shading, weight painting, rigging, shape keys and yeah, the list goes on. This is why I was able to have an appealing looking character ready to animate within days. I was able to easily generate an FBX of my character, meaning I could send it off to an animator who uses any 2D animation software. There was actually a bit more to it that I didn't really cover in this video. But I do go into it in more detail in my course, which you can check out if you want to do this for yourself. The whole process is a lot easier than creating the character from scratch, that's for sure.